Well, we have something that, uh, in any, if anything, is even worse, I'm afraid. It has to do with a singer, rapper, and songwriter who is famous for being both fat and for twerking. This is none other than the singer-songwriter rapper known as Lizzo. An inorganic American. I would call her pretty inorganic, yes. <laughs> Although, gosh, uh, I would call her almost genetically modified, just looking at her. <laughs> But after struggling with body issues at an early age, Lizzo became an advocate for body positivity and self-love as she attracted more mainstream attention while making diversity the focus of her music in regard to one's body, sexuality, race, and more. I wonder what more there is. And her group of backup dancers known as the Big Girls <laughs> uh, are true to their name. They are all plus size dancers. Plus Amen. size. When did that become a euphemism for fat? In Obese, case, corpulence. Yes. Well, she has a strong LGBTQ plus 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 LSD FBI following and has dubbed her fans the <laughs> Lesbians. The Lesbians. I like that. She later stated that she considers herself an ally and leans heterosexual. Leans heterosexual. Leans heterosexual. I wouldn't want her leaning on me. That's a lot I, I, I don't think there'd be much left if she leaned on you. No. Well, as it turns out, on Tuesday of this week, the Library of Congress let her borrow a 200-year-old crystal flute to play during her concert in Washington, D.C. She became the first ever person, apparently, to play this treasured musical instrument, originally owned by James Madison. Oh, my goodness. And I, I guess Madison never played it. Uh, there's no record of anybody ever playing it until it fell in the hands of this twerker. And uh, <laughs> a gift, it was a gift to James Madison from a French crystal flute designer to celebrate his second term. Well, she played it in her own signature way, which she refers to as flute playing while twerking. And, and we'd be remiss if we didn't point out for all of our listeners who might not know this, she is heavily melanin enhanced. I guess I forgot to mention that. She yes. is She is a, She is is an African Americanist. In fact, yes. there's probably, she's probably, you know, Two or three African American. Yes, yeah, she, she, she's, she's a big girl. Yes, yes, she hasn't missed many meals, Mr. Taylor. Yeah, she, she's two of my favorite rappers. Uh, but uh, <laughs> who's, who's your first okay. favorite rapper? Well, she's two of my favorite, uh, <laughs> all by herself. Uh, she uh, this this uh, this special talent of flute playing while twerking is something that she did with this historic flute right there on stage for all to see. And afterwards, she exclaimed, "Bitch, I just twerked." and played James Madison's flute from the 1800s. So there you go. Well, you a know, great I, moment in American history. Uh, this, this was a, a, it'll go down, uh, yes, as, as one, of the, one of the great tributes to our founding fathers. I uh, mean, that quote is almost as, that, I, you know what, that quote mm -hmm. eclipses Neil Armstrong's July 20th, 1969, one small step for me. No, Bitch, right. I right. just played an 18th. I just twerked and played. <laughs> I just twerked and played. Yes. yes. It, a little, it, grammatically, this could mean I twerked and played the flute. I twerked the flute and played the flute. But I guess twerk in this case is an, an intransitive and not a transitive verb. But you know, <laughs> I have, uh, I've, I think I figured out just why the Library of Congress did such a miserably in bad taste thing because the birth name of Lizzo is Melissa Vivian. Jefferson. Oh, I get so it. So this explains it. She, too, is a founding mother. So she gets to play this hitherto unplayed flute. But what a what an extraordinarily bad, I mean, is this, is this the best person they could find to play this flute? You'd think they'd find some expert flute player, uh, but no, no. I don't even think it's she fats, actually played that many. Uh, that it's many, it's uh, Fatso Lizzo. It's, it's, she didn't play that many notes. Have you actually watched? No, I, I did watch. I'm sorry to say. I dragged myself to the screen and I watched. She just played a few notes, but apparently she's a pretty good flute player. She studied flute, seriously. So in any case, uh, that, was, that was the great cultural event of the week. Probably the great cultural event of the year, maybe the, even of the decade. I'd say of our lifetime. 